Hi everyone, it's Raja and Gottnick, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion, Fashion Photo, photo Review. This week we are going to be tooting and booting the looks from season 14, the main stage of. So this week theme is shoulder. shoulder pads. I mean, shoulder pads are are highly emotional for me. I mean, this this harkens back to a certain time of my life as I was growing up uh, watching Dynasty movies from the '40s and the '30s, where shoulder pads really kind of commanded a certain type of power when it's placed and drag or placed in the feminine form and concept. It adds to the silhouette. It adds strength. It adds structure. And it says, I am a power bitch. I mean, this runway is really fun because I feel like you literally do whatever you want and then make it shoulder pad campy, like, you know, like yes. make it fit the theme instead of just, I put on shoulder pads. I expect to see shoulder pads, of course, but I also expect to see uh, maybe some historical reference if they're smart enough. I don't even know if this group like goes there yet. Like, I want to see some intellect in the idea of a shoulder pad. And that's the vibe we need on every one of these runways. Yes, I'm shoulder a power pads. bitch. Mm -hmm. Power bitch. Power bitch. Power bitch ass. I own 51% of this company. <laughs> don't f with me, fellas. Category is shoulder pads. First queen. Deja Sky. Oh, she understood the assignment. Yes. Chanel. Mm hmm. I mean, the Chanel thing doesn't excite me at all, actually. And I think it is hard because Chanel is like custom stunning tweeds and like gorgeous fabrics. And right now it's like a little like sequin strips and kind of ill fitting. But I think the shoulder pads are insane. And I think it's really. A fun direction. The assignment was shoulder pads, and she brought the biggest goddamn shoulder pads I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I would love a tweed, a quilted, but I think it's, I think you're giving me shoulder pads, you're giving me a cool silhouette. I think it's very different and fun for her. I like it because she understood the assignment. And isn't that the, isn't that the job? She, but you know, the goal was to showcase shoulder pads, and that's what it is. And it does have some Chanel references. It's a reference, it's cool. I like the big shoulders. I actually would love to just wear the jacket on its own. Um, and there's a lot of moments where Deja Sky has done that for me where she has like one singular item where I'm like, oh, that would be fun to just wear, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like that would be fun like a, at a farmer's market on a Sunday, like on <laughs> Ivar, you know, like just the look. I think for her, I'm going to toot it for her. I'm going to toot Deja Sky as well. Next. Lady Camden. Lady Camden. And but she's the nutcracker. I love this outfit actually. Yeah, I think it's fun. I'm not sure about the shoulder pads moment. Oh, oh yeah, she looks fantastic. Yeah, amazing. The hemline's cute, the outfit's fitted and stunning. I think it's a cool direction. The head's giving me construction, craft store, artistry, but that is fine. You took it off and you made it a prop. I'm so happy she took that thing off. Mm-hmm. Like, honestly, this is like one of the better looks for her for me. Like, oh, for sure. uh, like, like it's it's not exactly what I would imagine for like a shoulder pads theme. Mm -hmm. Like, I would definitely have gone in a different direction in that sense. Like, it just isn't giving me as much shoulder as I would love to see. The actual absolute truth of it is that she looks really amazing. That red uh, sequin looks lacquered onto her body. Her makeup looks fantabulous. Her body looks great. Her shoulders look great. The, the nutcracker reference, don't get how that goes with shoulder pads, but whatever. Yeah, the bitch that. looks good. She looks great. Yeah, I like it a lot. Like, you I can't think... even be mean at that. Mm -mm. It's fun, and I feel like she's like a fun, campy little queen, and so this like fits her. Mm -hmm. And I think the outfit is beautifully made. It hits the floor so gorgeously. Yeah. It has amazing movement. Mm -hmm. I definitely choose this look. The Lady Camden deserves a Two. Next, to the stage, we bring Willow Pill. Oh, Ooh. Matrix girly. Oh my God. Love. Love it. I love it. 
insanely in love with it. She looks it's fantastic. So, like, I'm so sad I'm not wearing that right now. Yeah, I'm yeah, so yeah. Upset. It looks so good. That hair is good. The, the, the sock garters. garters. Like, yeah. Palpitations. The rhinestone on the pinstriped. Uh, the, the punk hair with the braided tail. Exquisite. The little glasses. The mesh glove, um, matching the mesh mm -hmm, shock. Mm -hmm. Like, get a grip on Get Away From Me, Willow, because I'm freaking out that it's not my outfit. This is an outfit that I would be wearing it to maybe like vegan brunch. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. I do like In a, downtown. Oh, I want to wear it every single day. The color of that suit mm. and then the stone. Like, the oh spiked hair. Well done. I just. Well done. Toot. 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 Next to the stage, we have Angeria Perez. Why not? Yeah, mixing houndstooth is so hard. Like it's houndstooth and plaid. The cape, like it is literally just a piece of fabric, and you can see that it's just like mm -hmm. it's a piece of fabric. Like it's not lined or anything. It's just kind of like that stretch pinned onto her belt. It's kind of almost like as if my little um, pageantry Angeria tried to do like a Lee Bowery situation. Right, and didn't really quite like, mm -hmm. no. I actually love Angeria's style and I love what she does, but like for me, this is, this is, this is a bit predictable in the sense that shoulder pads is a very, very crucial uh, an important silhouette, and this was easy. Yeah, it's giving that you know drag I mean? silhouette of you, like that. Yeah, it's so like it's easy. Different. And also the little. This is brunch. The like, little footed tight with the strappy heel. I just. It needed an ankle boot, something with a really dramatic platform, perhaps. If the patterns were all taken away, would I would I direct my eyes to the shoulders, which is really the point of the challenge, is to direct your eyes to the shoulders. But there's so much going on that it's taking me away from the focus of the shoulders, and instead the shoulders just look like two big old pillows on the side of yeah. her shoulders. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I like, do feel like you have to like just go balls to the wall, Lee Bowery vibes if you're gonna do it. Like give me a little like bustle or like bigger, sure you know, or, like, bigger. Stuff. She could have like maybe like taken the plot or something and done some like stylizing lines or like I don't even know like bring like brought your eye kind of like if everything was here and then brought it up towards the shoulder pads safe cut this the is like safe. leotard up to your hips higher so it's giving more leg and like something. I don't know yeah it's definitely it's safe hard. and I think like the colors are fine I get what she's doing it's not a terrible terrible outfit no but in the runway of RuPaul's Drag Race and you are trying to Feature shoulder pad, this is a little bit weak for me. Yeah, I definitely mm -hmm. do. I do agree. I'm gonna give this one a boot. Yeah, I'm gonna have to boot it as well. Next, we bring to the stage. Bosco! It's like okay. It's like a. Sandwich. No! Yeah, it's, it's weak. It is very weak, especially no, for it could her. Be better. It's so interesting. Not, not on season 14, not on a shoulder pad challenge. None of these people thought about giving, like, you know, the Golden Girls or. Um, Joan Crawford, and I know that these are old references, but, but this it's is a this gay is gay reference. Yes, it's like it just looks like two sun off. visors on her shoulders. Like yeah, like you I, know, I'd see that at the bar. I've I actually done that. I've actually taken sun visors and made them into shoulder That's pads. That's cute. But like not on the main stage of Drag Race. No, Rats. absolutely no. It's like cute. Like you match the bra to your gloves, and like it's giving me color story. Like, but it's just 2022 is tuck it up in a corset, oh, no. baby, and then a Mugler <laughs> jacket that you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Chuck no, I don't see this. But even I don't like see when the, this. the like panty like touches the corset like a little right at your hip. Not a rain slicker and two visors. Not rain on a shoulder pad slicker. challenge. No. Right. She's so like pin up and like spooky. Like there's so much you could have done. Could have been like no sprat to. Oh, that's shoulder pads. Girl, oh, like you like, know, <laughs> like Victor and Rolf, current <laughs> couture, like Marcia shoulder Yala. pads, Mark, Get like me. up here. Yeah. Here, not too, not too, you know, corrugated cardboard sun visors. Yeah, this is definitely interesting, Park. Just like I would see that at the bar. No, I wouldn't. What is it like? Uh, where are we? Portland, where it rains constantly. <laughs> where are we? The rainforest. <gasps> Yeah, I have, no, to I, boot this. I have to boot this. Boot, 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 boot. I'm very sorry, Bosco. Next to the stage, we bring Georges. Georges. Oh. No, there's no shoulder pads at all. Where's Gorgeous. the shoulder pads? There's not even one on her. No, she just has like flouncy sleeves. 
She's literally not wearing one. But she does look sickening though. Yeah, of course. It's gorgeous. I love the outfit, but no, babe. You're not even wearing a short hat. Or no. I mean, she looks just amazing, but like. It throws me like into like Selena vibes, oh, like beady beady bum bomb. She's giving that too. She's giving all of it. I love the color of blue sequin, absolutely. But I want to see more shoulder. What is the concept that people aren't missing? So far, the only person that I've seen is Deja Sky. Like she really brought the f yeah, shoulder pads. She really did. What is going on? This Am I getting mad like the Madonna challenge? I think it's you a have shoulder to challenge. Five. It's another kimono! <laughs> it's just shoulders, you guys. I know. This one's really interesting. Yeah. She's a little girly, and this is like all cut out here. Like, she does look sickening. Of course, like, it's her. That's sickening. her name. Yeah, Georges. I'm just going to give her two because she looks sickening. What the hell? She doesn't get. You definitely need to take five. <laughs> You're going to boot this? Yes. She's not even wearing the shoulder pad. I know, but she looks so good. Ah. <sighs> You're making this really, I'm, my anxiety. The what? She's literally not even wearing a shoulder pad. And you're like, two. Okay, fine. That's a Literal two. Fine, fine, <laughs> fine. I literally love this hair on her though. So mm -hmm. pretty. Like everything about it is so pretty, but where's Definitely. the shoulders? Where are the shoulders? Next, who we bring to the stage? Jasmine Canada. Jasmine Canada. It's freaking nail gloves. What is going on season 14? I swear to God. Is that like a new I want you thing? to let, I want you to let this go. Out. I need you to let this go. I think go. I have to. Okay, from now on, I'll keep it inside, mm -hmm. but just know I see it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm into it. I think there could have been more. I like the idea of the solid as a shocking feature. Like, oh, there's nothing else to this. There's no print. But instead, it is an entire silhouette. It is shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. The hair is extreme. I would like to see, you know, just something to break up the bodysuit. I was you gonna know? say, I was a like, belt. that's why I went like this. I was like, does she need a belt? I was like using my black finger as a belt for piece her on of, the screen. A piece of really important jewelry. Pageant jewelry is the complete opposite vibe of what's going on. No, right, like, right, 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 right. I need something a little bit more angular. I don't yeah. like how the bang is like, this is like a, your face, it looks like a floating head, and then it's like pageant jewelry against like, it needed some kind of neon cool, like imagine it was like, something. like up, like a uh, lightning bolt, yeah. acrylic. Angular. Yeah, something to separate it a bit. Some pieces of jewelry other than the pageant, because the pageant part does throw it off. But I still like it. I, I still just, like it. I could see this as like, you know, athleisure for me. If I wore this, this is what I would wear to yoga class. Yeah, exactly, George. Yeah. <laughs> No, but I, I mean, it's, I love how the gloves go all the way up. I think that's really cool. I just, it, she is giving shoulder pads, but it's just like. It needs cut, cut, a cow. Cut, cut, a cow. There's no. Like some kind of updo stitch and like a uh -huh. acrylic earring and like glasses and you're like, mm. yes. Okay. I think it could just be accessorized like a little batter or something, but no, I think it's great. I think she looks fine. Um, I've seen worse outfits this season. Yeah, so I guess it's a soft boot because I definitely have seen worse. Yeah, I've seen some f worse. So this, this, this is. Yeah, I'm into this. What a this way to fine. judge it! I'm gonna shoot it because I've seen worse. I have. It's That's good. how I go through life. Okay, I don't, worse. I don't judge everything because I, I know that I've always seen and experienced worse. So yeah. life lessons. Mm. Uh, this gets a toot for me. Next, we bring to the stage. Diabetti. Oh. oh, I apocalyptic angel. Mm -hmm. Post apocalypse. <laughs> Post apocalaka, oh, and God, she God. is also kind of Viking. I love the like way it's like cut the bodysuit. It's like she took a bodysuit and customized it. Like there's a lot of details. I'm obsessed. I think it's so her. Mm -hmm. It's a fun idea for shoulder pads. Mm -hmm. She's the only one that's done that so far. That's taken an athletic piece of shoulder protective wear for sports and created something, which is kind of what I expected. Mm -hmm. I, I'm shocked that only one person has done it. Yeah. yeah, but I love this. I toot this down, down, down. I give Diabetti a toot. Trend alert! Got your socks. Sock gotchas. Gotchas to hold your socks. Aren't we sick of a chap? Mm -hmm. Seen the chap? We've done the chap. I said sock garters. I'm a CEO. My socks are staying up by a garter. 
Only I know it because they're underpants. <laughs> Because they're underpants? They're <laughs> underneath pants. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Our top two to the week is Willow Pill. Uh, kill me in this world. I could die for you, Matrix. She, she gets all the top twos every and week. And deserves them she every week. Brings deserves. it to the ball to every time. Tens across the board for Willow Pill. What is in the briefcase? She's got money and top ramen. Top toots and top ramen for Widow every week. Yeah. In the suitcase. Be sure to catch the newest episode of RuPaul's Drag Race season 14 every Friday night on VH1. And if you are not in the United States, Australia, or Canada, make sure you go over to WOW Presents Plus and watch it there, because it's there. <laughs> oh my god. I'm excited to watch another episode every VHS. Friday on VHS. I just did it this On VHS. On VHS. VH1. <laughs> <laughs>